This is 24 de Mayo Plaza. We are in Otavalo, Ecuador, South America. Here's my favorite supermarket. Thought you may be interested. La Mio. I always pick stuff up here at night. Knee deep in Otavalo. There's big festivities. Today is Festia del Amor. I'm gonna show you a kind of a smaller market a little slightly more upscale, not exactly indigenous hardcore. This is kind of a new one. Ali Mikua Mikuya Plaza de Sabores. Okay. Oh, there you go. I thought you may find it interesting. Festia del Amor. I'm gonna go get something to eat. Just changed my apartment today. You know, because of the, uh, this big festival, the hotel I was staying in literally wanted to triple my, uh, triple the rate instead of daily. They Not only did they double it, they tripled it. One thing I learned in life, there's a Spanish saying, El hambriente siempre sale con nada. El hambriente siempre sale con, na con nada. The greedy, when you, the greedy ones always end up with nothing. The greedy, the greedy end up with nothing. So I, took me about an hour, went around Otavalo, found an amazing apartment hotel. Yeah, it's a few dollars more, no big deal. You gotta treat yourself, right? But so much better energy, so happy that I did the move. You know, change is always refreshing, isn't it? Change is always refreshing. We are in Otavalo, South America. Check it out. No, I usually go to this market to get a few drinks. The food here is pretty good. Kind of reminds me of Thailand. I was living two years in Thailand, all over Thailand and Asia. It kind of has a little bit of that look and feel, but of course in Thailand, they're gonna be a lot bigger, these places. Ah, but who doesn't love the Thai food, right? And, uh, yeah, today's a busy day. Okay. Hey, mi amigo, ¿cómo estás? Hace la mejor sábila, va a ser un YouTube video. ¿Cómo es tu nombre? Mariel. Mariel, él hace mi sábila. Si quiere hablar un poco para YouTube, ¿qué está haciendo tu especialidad acá? Y Mariel es de Perú, de Iquitos. Exacto. ¿Qué es tu especialidad aquí, Mariel? ¿Dónde es tu local acá? ¿Perdón? ¿Tu local? Eh, a ver, aquí lo que se vende es aloe vera, la sábila, ¿no? Ese es el, lo principal. Después tenemos jugos, tenemos aromáticas y productos naturales, depende para lo que desee. ¿Qué es el nombre de tu local? Eh, produ eh, productos naturales o productos sea, naturales naturales jugos bebidas todo lo que y la que dirección ver. para la gente eh, conseguir sí, el, la dirección acá el puestito número 15 en el patio de comida de patio de comidas Ale. excelente muchas gracias Ma María de Perú yo siempre me encanta la Sábila. ¿Es como se llama? O ¿Emolientes? Sí, emoliente. ¿Emoliente de sábila? ¿Y eso es algo peruano? Sí, eso Excelente. sale de Perú. Excelente, muchas gracias, que María. Que pase bien. Regreso. There you go, everyone. I always get jugo de sábila. It's basically an emoliente, which is basically a hot herbal tea with aloe vera. 100%. 100% aloe vera herbal tea. 100% aloe vera herbal tea with uh, it's more of it's like a hot tea with herbs 
very hot. It's very delicious. You can choose to get, you can actually choose to get more savila or more of the tea. And there we go. We got the Ecuadorian families. It's very nice. I like this place. Good energy. It's just, it's more of a family atmosphere, children, families. Great food. Prices are very reasonable. I have not seen it so busy. Super busy today. And there you go. Very busy today. Look at all that. Yeah, good food, good drinks, good social environment. And uh, if you want to meet some locals, come out here. This is my usually my stop at mid right before midnight. Y aquí es el Rambo. Hola, si quieres saludar YouTube. Todo bien. Eres muy duro. Él es la seguridad de acá. ¿Cómo es tu nombre? Matute. Eso. Muy bien. Mira. Gracias, Tiene más músculo que Rambo. Esa es. <laughs> Gracias. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, guys and girls. Very good. It's a, it's a fun place. You can literally get a whole meal here for under $3. Buenas noches. Aquí es la especialidad, ¿qué es? La especialidad. Chica, chicaso. There you go. Yeah, the Ecuadorians, uh, well, they're, you could say they're slightly more reserved than the Colombians. That's okay. You know, in Colombia, you got a lot more drama, a lot more show, a lot more, um, a lot more theater, right? Isn't it always drama, drama, drama? Yeah. Ecuador's a bit more reserved. I kind of like that. Kind of get tired of a little bit of the drama. Colombia. So that's it guys, uh, we're going to wrap this one up, hope you enjoyed it, Ecuador Otavalo, I think you got a good idea of the look and the feel, kind of a more of a little modern market, we'll wrap it up with the music.